Michael, my final question for you is uh, kind of a full circle coming back to the power of storytelling, as I mentioned in the bio for your, uh, for your introduction. Storytelling is important. Uh, a lot of times that's the important key, important skill set to tell your story, how people can grab your stories, in the, especially in the, during the interview time. And again, on social platforms, while you're telling your story, your personal brand, even in your about section on LinkedIn, you're telling your story. So what tips you have from your perspective? How can people can start telling their stories so that people are hooked? Yeah, uh, I would say, <laughs> to put it the most succinctly I can put it, have a point. Mm -hmm. Have a point to the story. And it, it has to be more than just look at how great I am. Mm -hmm. When you are telling a story about something you've done, you need to be able to, especially in the job search or, or the hiring process, you need to be able to explain why it mattered, what you did, yeah. who it benefited, and for what reasons. Like, How did you actually get the job done and, and for what, to accomplish what? Mm -hmm. So we're talking about what challenges did you overcome? Uh, what, what obstacles were you facing? How did you go about considering everything that needed to be done? Who did you help along the way? Whose help did you ask for? That's that's something that I, I see a lot of, of folks who I've interviewed as a hiring manager mm -hmm. leave out. Mm -hmm. You know, we often want to say that we brought all the help to someone else. Yeah. I think it's a very valuable asset for, for someone to say, I don't know. So here's how I went about seeking help from others. Mm -hmm. That tells me that you have some humility. That tells me that you have some self-awareness and some recognition that you can't do everything. And yeah. that's, okay. that's okay. If I, as the hiring manager, I, I, I'm looking for ways that I can help you. I'm looking for ways that I can help you grow your career and your own skill set. And if you come in thinking you've got everything all figured out already, mm. what room is there for me? Yeah. I, I'm just going to be a, a, a dictator of, of tasks to you at that point. And that's not what I want. I mean, certainly there are hiring managers out there like that, <laughs> but um, you've got to be able to explain the the who, what, where, when, why, how of, of your story. And it has to be more than just, again, like I said, to repeat myself, look at, look at me and how great I am. Yeah. And especially during the interview session, it's all about the star method in the situation, the task, the action and the result. But I always tell my client that make sure that what did you learn from this experience and how can this experience be applied to the job you're applying so that always make the connection to the job because right. that's how they can see what you can bring to the value to the company. And that to, to go to go back to a previous question you asked me, Meher, is where our personal brand can come into play. If we can have a through line of things that we are interested in outside of our identity as a person who does a job, yeah. then th making those those threads, uh, connecting those threads, connecting those dots becomes much easier when you have an outside area of of interest or focus mm -hmm. that you can draw from as well. Uh, because we are we are 3D human beings. We are not just our job. We are not just uh, you know this this thing that we present online on social media. Yeah. We're 3D people. And that means we have a lot of different characteristics that if we can show that we can think critically and tie all of these aspects of who we are together, to bring that to ourselves, we hear a lot these days, bringing your full self to yes. work. Yes. If we can tell the story of how what we do outside of our job can help us bring our full selves to work, I'm better for it as a hiring manager for hiring you. Yeah. That is how I see it. And, and if I think about the things that I'm interested in outside of work, I have my own podcast. I, I write. I'm an author. Um, you know, I, I'm a speaking coach. Mm. Those things help me be more creative in my role as a marketing director. I bring the learnings there into my role as a marketing director to make the company better, to make my team better. That right there that I just told you, Meher, is a story and a connection point that shows the depth of who I am as a person. And those are great tips, Michael. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I very enjoyed the conversation, very practical tips. So for the audience watching, I hope you watch all the videos that I posted on a daily basis this week. And if you have any other questions, you can reach to us on our social platforms. 
and tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. Again, Michael, thank you very much. And let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you.